hello I'm going to talk to you today in this video about the cheap property updates now I, I did this three months ago maybe four months ago and, and maybe four months ago before that but uh, every now and then I do give a, a cheap properties update now there's still a lot of cheap properties in various parts of United Nations I mean, United States okay <laughs> In Virginia, I saw 9.8 acres for 30,000, and there's uh, 9 acres for 20,000 in Virginia. Cheap properties in West Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, all the Appalachian areas. areas. In the Carolinas, there's cheap property. I saw a three bedroom, two bath house for 25K in Missouri. And that goes for a lot of other Midwestern states. There's cheap properties, Kansas, um, Texas. You can buy uh, land in Texas for $1,000 an acre. Uh, raw land and um, you can get a lot of cheap raw land in various states uh, in the United States and so you got to understand there's 50 states y'all you got to understand that you got to get that in your mind there's 50 states and you as an American citizen can live in any one of the 50 states now it's hard for people to admit that they're poor that's why you see poor people buying you know four or five thousand dollars worth of furniture because they don't want to admit that they're poor the government says they're poor they don't want to even admit to themselves that they're poor. But see, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be truthful with yourself. Okay? You know what? I don't buy, like I said, I don't buy anymore. But look, I'm, I'm real about what I can't afford and what I can't afford. It's no point in me buying a chandelier. It wouldn't fit in my house anyway. It's, no point, it's a waste of my money. Okay? Now, if you're an American... And you're black or white, and you live in California. I'm telling you, there's nothing for you. There's no services for you. There's hardly any food stamps for you. Okay? They're giving all the apartments, all the housing to the Central American illegals. I'm not racist. I'm real. Okay? They're giving all the housing to them. They're not giving it to a black American. They're not giving it to a white American who lives in California. And actually, that's probably true just about every state. I mean, they, they got the blacks living in, uh, the blacks who are poor living in ramshackle houses in, in Pennsylvania and got the Central American illegals living in nice condos. That, that, that is true everywhere around the country. I mean, even in Ohio, uh, in Illinois, they got the Central Americans living, the government pays for them to live in townhouses. Whoa, excuse me. That was a bug. <laughs> the government pays for them to live in townhouses and the blacks live in ramshackle housing. So that is true. Okay, the government pays for the rent. The government pays for the mortgage. And they all know that. I watched the interviews with the Central American illegals. They will say as soon as they got into the United States, whether, there's, whether they get into Texas or whether they get into California, as soon as they get there, they get a housing, they get an apartment, and they get a job. They all say that. Okay, they're the only ones that can do that. Black Americans can't do it. White Americans can't do it. We just poke. Okay, now, like I said, the average bedroom in California is, is $2,500 per bedroom. Even the people that work for Google cannot afford California. They live in RVs and whatever. Okay, now the only solution I can think, I don't know why people think that moving away is such a bad idea. It is really the only solution. You keep thinking because you're a black American or you're a white American, you have a right to an apartment in California. Well, no, you don't. They're, they're saying you don't have any right. We're not going to give you nothing. We're only going to do something for the Central Americans, illegals, okay? Now, so you're going to have, you don't have any choice but to move to a cheaper state because you cannot afford California. You hardly can afford to eat there if you want to be honest about it. Okay, I don't care how many farms they have in California. Uh, you can hardly afford to eat there if you're poor, okay? Now, if you've been on Skid Row for eight years, what does that mean? California, the state of California, has not helped you for eight years, and guess what? They're not going to help you for another eight years. Some people have been on California skate row for 15, 20 years. That, what does that mean? That the government's not going to, California's not going to help them get housing. The federal government's not going to help them get housing. You know, these are particularly black Americans. We got to understand what the government thinks about us. The government's not going to help us at all, one iota, ever. So we better get ours. We better get some property. Now, see, even now, see, California's not going to do anything for you if you're an American, white American or black American. You've got to understand that. 
They're not going to do anything for you ever. Okay? If you've been on skit row for longer than six months, they're not going to do anything. What does that mean? They're not going to do anything for you now or ever. And the Central American illegals get an apartment in a week, less than a week. Because they, they say that on the interviews. As soon as they step in California, they get an apartment. Okay? So, there are a lot of cheap properties at various uh, places in the United States. You have to do your research. You have to go on Google. Just say, you know, go to so-and-so state. Re real properties or real estate under 30K in such and such a state. That's all you have to do. And whether you get in general welfare, whether you get a disability check, you need to save that money. You have to do the same thing we do, aggressively save money. So you can afford to these properties. And if you want to borrow money, even though I'm not an advocate of that, if you want to borrow money to buy these properties, you still should save a reasonable down payment so you won't have any problems with the bank. But there is nothing for you. If you're a black American, I'm not racist, I'm real. If you're a white American, they don't even care about the white Americans anymore. The government doesn't even care about the white Americans anymore. They're taking jobs from the white Americans, giving to the Central American illegals. So you got to understand the government doesn't care about you if you are a black American or if you're a white American. Okay, so you, what you need to do is go buy some of this property, this real property. Have a nice day.